It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Thank you for being here. Uh, today's video is on, this is by far, by far, the most mysterious shop in all of Mayberry. And in a second, you'll find out why. Fans of the Andy Griffith Show can finally recall the names of many shops and businesses in Mayberry. There's Floyd's Barber Shop, where all the boys get their hair cut. Walker's Drug Store, where Andy and uh, met Ellie. There's the Fix-It Shop, where you can find handyman uh, Emmett Clark. Of course, that's the same shop as the Barber Shop. Uh, Goober or Gomer Powell can take care of your car at Wally Service Station. There are many other more obscure businesses whose names can only be gleaned any time an episode takes you walking down Mayberry streets like Lucan's store that carries the bed jacket for which Aunt B pines. The thriving small biz town business community, uh, but out of all the shops that, I've ever got, that we never got to see inside, there's perhaps one storefront that Andy Griffith Show fans have been puzzling over for a lot of, a lot of years. Glimpse during the first season episode, The Inspector, a shop across from the jail, uh, has a name that reads like nonsense. Uh, I'll put it up here for you. Uh, Air Hodge Whisk Me, <laughs> the sign says. Uh, you can catch about 13 minutes into the episode of State Inspector Ralph Case, played by Todd Andrews, storms out of Andy and Barney, uh, storms out on him. Case has found many violations inspecting Mayberry's jailhouse and leaves in a frazzled hurry to report the infractions. When the door opens, you'll spot this curious shop name, and if you do, you'll wonder what on earth is this odd string of letters refer to. One fan of the Andy Griffith Show, Paul Mulick, uh, whose name uh, as a trivia expert in the Andy Griffith Show book is credited as finding the answer. He said that in this early episode, it aired 26th overall, uh, the production did not yet have the Mayberry backdrops established, and what you're seeing is this scene is an old backdrop borrowed to cut host, uh, cut costs when filming the Inspector episode. He said he recalled the full name on the shop sign was the Peter Hodgisk building. Uh, the Peter Hodgisk <laughs> backdrop must have been created for some long forgotten old movie, Mueller quote. Perhaps uh, some have speculated that the old movie might just be the 1959 Samuel Fuller World War II film uh, Verboten, which was filmed on the familiar RKO uh, 40 acre back lot that became Desilu Studios, aka the Mayberry set. But alas, uh, they looked into that and that movie and could not find a sign reading that line. Uh, nor did, uh, did it spot it in Attack, a great gritty 1956 war flick with Eddie Albert, Buddy Ebsen, and Jack Plants, which also filmed on the lot. To be honest, that word does not seem like the typical name you'd find in Belgium or Bavaria. It could just as well be from other productions at the RKO 40 Acres Desilu lot, such as A Man with Camera, the 1958 uh, noir series starring Charles Bronson. So, mystery somewhat solved. Does anyone have a lead to finally answering this 60-year-old question? I just found this. I, 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 I've looked over this before. I know I have. Um, I've done so many videos, it's hard to keep up. I know I've looked over it before. I'm not sure I did a video on it, but I just thought this was really wild. And uh, I don't have a real true answer, but my answer would be it's they just wasn't set up to go yet. Uh, and they went ahead and filmed. That's probably the best answer. And they just probably hadn't arranged the letters in the way they wanted them to be. That's uh, what, what, would, what do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, that's all I got for you. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic... Uh, World Comedy Spikes of Trivia, it's on how Granny Clampett on the Beverly Hillbillies once uh, prayed for help from John Wayne and he showed up. It's one of my favorite all-time TV stories. Um, then we got Classic Rock Country Music Spikes of Trivia. It is on Johnny Cassius, uh, four daughters from his first marriage and how they disowned the whole Walk the Line movie. And I'll give you the reasons over there. And, of course, we got classic TV facts and trivia, which I'm not absolutely sure what that's about at the moment. 
Uh, I'm looking here. I got everything spread out, so it's kind of. I'll tell you what, it'll be up here next to me, so you can see what it's about, and then you can come check it out. I would really appreciate it. I would, I would, I would. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Please like this video. Take it just a second. Like I told you, on, like I told him on the other channel, if you don't like this video, you don't click that thumb. I'm coming to your house, and I'm going to take your finger and I'm going to do it for you. Have a great day, God. God bless, and I'm praying for you.